Hey guys, one here. Today I'm going to show you through my own Tableau Public some interesting projects that hopefully help you build a Tableau portfolio. So what you see right here is in my Tableau Public I have close to 70 visualizations. Not everything is amazing. Some of it is uh, quite quite okay. But I believe if you aspire to get a Tableau job you need at least three visualizations that are really well worked out. And just let me show you some of the ones that I currently have and see if that inspires you to build something on your own. So the first one that you see right here, let me just restart it, comes from a question that I get quite often, which is how did I end up working in data if I study psychology? So questions that you constantly get asked are an amazing topic for inspiration. And this one where you can see also shows my whole learning journey from university to some online courses that I did, Linux Academy, Data Camp, and so on. It also has here some annotations, so it, it also tells a little bit of a story. People tend to like it and it kind of shows them my journey. So this one works quite well because firstly, it is very, very unique to me. It shows my journey, my story, and it just, by the time people see my data visualization skills, they already get to know a little bit more about me. I think it's much more impactful than some generic projects. Second one I want to show you is this one right here. Uh, on my free time, I am quite involved with Toastmasters International, which is a public speaking and leadership organization. And I decided to make a visualization about it. Now this one, the whole objective is to also show people, hey, I do data visualization and things, but I also want you to know that I'm very active in some other things and that I have some other passions. So if you can involve different aspects of your life or of your free time into visualization that once again tells people what you uh, tells people a little bit more about you as a person third one uh, very similar idea to the first one that you saw it's something that i have been having a lot of troubles putting into paper that is the fact that i've lived in quite a lot of cities Right, so I decided to visualize that. Every single dot here is a day in my life. And you can see which points I lived where. So I lived in Cali, that's my own hometown, but also some days in London, and uh, for a time in Utrecht. I used to live in Amsterdam and then came back. It's just a neat way, so. Sometimes data visualization is good to tell some stories about yourself that are maybe a bit more difficult to write or to just say. The next project that we have right here is using chess data. And I think one crime here is I don't know much about chess. I just got this data set. This project, the whole idea was to have something that is very uh, true in the sense that it has even a customized legend. It just gives you more information of everything. Uh, some, some even some information here about what you're seeing. And it's a visualization that is difficult to make. It is not something that comes completely out of the box. So in this case, even though I don't like chess and I could have chosen a topic that uh, fits me much better. I also want people to see that I'm able to build stuff out of the box. I am not just relying on the show me or in the custom, or sorry, on the graphs that everybody knows of. And finally, I took some of my first visualizations. This is some of the very first Tableau work that I ever did. And I decided to improve them. And this was approximately one year after I published this one. I realized like, huh, this was okay, but I could have done this much better. And from this, this idea came up. 
Now, I didn't change much in the analytical sense. As you can see, both of them rely on exactly the same visualizations. But I just realized, hey, I've become much better in uh, making a visual visualization look a certain way and also informating. So I just wanted to reflect that and show how much I have grown in a year. So taking back all the projects that you have can also be a great experience. Here is another example of just exactly that. This was also built on one of the first weeks that I ever learned how to use Tableau. It has these borders that are not that amazing. Uh, here you can not even read the text. It has all sorts of fonts and colors. And here Russia occupies such a big portion of the whole map that the other countries look rather small. But I decided to remake this one and this is how it looks nowadays. So it's a little bit more intuitive, a little bit, uh, yeah, better presented, really. Uh, also a bit more clear that Europe is coded as, as red and so on. And that's just it. So to recap, if you're looking for a job that involves a lot of Tableau, you're probably going to want to invest some time in your Tableau public. Pick projects that are related to yourself, that tell a little bit more of who you are. That helps quite a lot, especially in the storytelling side. Two, have some projects that you clearly gave some love to, not something without the tool tips or something. Just work in them, uh, make sure that it has a proper title, that everything is organized, that the calculations have annotations and that it has a lot of text explaining what exactly it is the thing that you're seeing. The amount of work and dedication that you put into your test or actually your portfolio should be a good reflection of how much work you put into your own day-to-day day -day job. And finally, it is an interesting idea to redo things that you already had in the past. So if you have some old visualizations, Instead of erasing them, feel free to redo them. It's something that really shows how much you have grown. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.